And joining us now to discuss this threat and other non-conventional Iranian attempts is Oren Elimelech, founder and CEO of Cyberteam360 and a research associate at the International Institute for Counterterrorism at IDC Herzliya. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So this Iranian attempt seems to have targeted, initially at least, sort of unsuspecting people, uh, in this case from the Israeli-Iranian community. So I think sort of the big question here is, are there more Israelis out there being targeted now in, in the same way? Yes. Uh, first of all, this is not the first attempt. This is an ongoing uh, activity uh, that has been uh, actually grown since COVID era because it's been much harder to recruit since there is much more stricter border control and inspection. So the move to social media and trying to recruit operative and agents in foreign countries has shifted. And it's much harder to get a very proficient and very highly capable agent. And uh, so uh, th there is a higher risk also being discovered. But definitely this has been going on. There's been a report also in Shizn Bet's website and Mossad sites uh, since, you know, 2018, 19, I think the last one was 2019, uh, June or July 19. So this is an ongoing, but companies are being targeted. And we've seen the recent activities on, you know, trying to recruit people in, that are involved in, you know, uh, specific positions. If you would say, for example, the, the persons uh, with Gant uh, having them, and he actually went on his behalf, tried to get to these uh, uh, criminal organization, but also um, people from intelligence, from foreign countries, are trying to recruit actively. And I, I'll, I want to take this uh, opportunity for organizations, for companies, for government, uh, for everybody. Uh, try to review your employees, what are they're publishing. And definitely, this is a cause for an alarm. Uh, first of all, they should inspect in the eyes of the attacker, which means what are my employees are divulging. If you would go back, for example, uh, uh, and you would search um, a, a certain company, I don't want to reference her name here, but a lot of their employees publish that they're working, and this is a secretive uh, uh, company uh, working for the government. And you shouldn't be able to publish that publicly especially not on social media, whether if it's LinkedIn, Facebook, or anything else. So we should call out, and those companies should put uh, uh, the threat landscape uh, that foreign operatives, or intelligence uh, operations from foreign countries, what are they looking for? And if my employees are not aware, they will be susceptible, whether if it's convincing them, money-wise, monetary, trying to influence this, or blackmailing them, or even, you know, uh, they'll be targeted for a malicious, uh, by a malicious threat actor, uh, even without their knowing, they'll be targeted for that. So definitely companies, organization, government should raise their defenses and try to inspect in the eyes of the attacker, the eyes of threat actor, intelligence companies, uh, what are they divulging to the outside? I mean, that's in terms of companies, but take, for example, the average Israeli who's scrolling through social media, joining different groups, uh, meeting new people online. How can they tell the difference? Uh, how can they uh, you know, sort of identify fake content or fake users uh, like we saw in this case? OK, so first of all, uh, I, I like to say trust no one. The same way that we watched the movie years ago, you know, X-Files, all right? <laughs> I don't trust anybody. I suspect everything. If you think of uh, a picture is bogus, Google has a service called reverse search photo. And you can take that picture, put it inside, it will tell you exactly if that's being used uh, as an avatar by somebody else who didn't took the picture. We've seen it thousands of thousands of times. But definitely, don't believe anything and try to, you know, throat their, uh, what they're asking, uh, try to suspect everything, try to make sure, even if somebody tells you, I came by a relative, a friend, somebody you trust, and no, that person might have been influenced. He, he might have been, his account might have been hacked. Also, I recommend for each one of us, the, the simple Joe, okay, the average Joe, uh, put a two-factor authentication, change your password quite frequently, be vigilant, be aware, uh, and don't open any attachment, any links. And if you're getting anything that seems too good to be true, it is. Usually it is, 
And if somebody is giving you something for free, then you are probably the asset. They want what you have as a person, where you're connected to, or you know, just having your data. And that recalls for everything. Now, aside from social media attempts, I mean, what other attempts have we seen from the Iranians in terms of sort of non-conventional warfare that have been used to target Israelis? Uh, we've seen by uh, uh, Iranian, we've seen numerous attacks, specifically grown in the last two or three years. Uh, it's been published over the news about uh, threat actors uh, that are coming from Iran, various, uh, whether, whether the Spade 2 key, Black Shadows, all those are actually targeting municipalities, services, companies, organization in Israel in order to influence uh, the country, uh, uh, the narrative about uh, the, the Iran. They're trying to leverage the attack and take it to the financial terms. We've seen attack on various hospitals, uh, municipalities, financial organization coming from Iran, whether those are affiliated to the government or just, you know, uh, ran from Iran as a proxy, it's yet to be a certain, but definitely we've seen a huge increase in the last two, three years, and that has been growing. And uh, this to say that Iran shouldn't be, you know, this shouldn't be treated so easily. They have capabilities. We should put them into consideration and definitely be vigilant and aware of their capabilities. All right, Owen Ali Melech, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24 7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.tv and watch from any device.